Hey everybody, welcome back to my Mondays. My name is Daryl Bear, and this week I'm going to be talking to you about improvements that have been made over the last couple of releases to the basic options for all of our transformation tools, so move, scale, and rotate, as well as the ability to modify Maya to, um, to maybe put the lasso tool into a hotkey or something like that, which was recently asked um, on Twitter, how would I do that? So I'm going to show you that. And I'm also going to show you a couple of uh, a couple of improvements that have been made to working with hotkeys and some hotkeys that you may not know about um, for dealing with selection and things like that. So check it out. Hopefully this will be useful to you guys. Um, I think it's all pretty cool stuff. So what we've got here is a couple of objects that we're going to be working with just to go over a couple of the changes that we made to the move tool. So over the last few releases, we've been trying to take all of the good functionality that the next toolkit had that was sort of scattered all over the place and bring those into the native Maya tools. And you can see a lot of that work in the options for the axis orientation inside of the various transformation tools. So we've now got things like, um, if we jump back to our object mode here and grab our face, we've now got the ability to do things like have our, our selection automatically change to the component that's currently selected. So if I was in multi mode and I grabbed an edge, you can see that that selection is basically automatically aligning itself to my current selection. So that's something that you could do before, obviously with Maya and the next tools, it just wasn't part of the native experience inside of Maya. Another thing that we changed that's really kind of cool is the ability to interact with your pivots and set your pivots to, um, to stuff that's custom very simply and very fast. So inside of Maya previously, um, if you wanted to set your pivot on your object, you could hit the, um, the insert key. That would put you into a pivot mode where you'd move the pivot around and then you hit the insert key to go back to your transformation mode. Or you could hold down the D key on the keyboard and interactively move that pivot, let go of the D key, and your changes would be recorded. So now what we've done is we've changed that so that you can hit the D key to enter into your, your, your pivot mode. And this is going to allow you to obviously start to position that pivot wherever you want it or change its orientation you know, to, to do whatever you want. So one of the things that's kind of cool about this edit pivot mode is it really gives you a fast way if you've got maybe a polygon selected and you want to move it along the axis of an edge or the normal of a vert or a face or something like that, this edit pivot mode gives you a really nice way of doing that. So let's just go ahead and jump back into our um, into our object here. And let's say I, I want to do something like select a face, like maybe this face over here, and have it move along the axis of maybe that face that I have highlighted. So to do that, really fast and simple to do inside of Maya because of the new edit pivot workflow. All I have to do is hit the D key to go into edit pivot mode for my current selection, select the object I want to have it aligned to, hit the D key one more time to exit out of the edit pivot mode. Now you can see that that face is still the face it's selected, but the axis it is going to move along now has been aligned to that face that I that I set with. So really fast, simple, easy way of doing that. Another thing that I want to bring your attention to really quickly is the reset transforms button. Um, I use this all the time inside of bonus tools. The, the zero pivots tools are great, especially if you're doing things with rigid bodies and you want to zero out local rotations and orientations and things like that to get those rigid bodies to behave in, in, a, in a nice uh, manner the right way, a lot of times you're going to want to be using these zero pivot tools to do that. So it's just a simple thing that's that's worth mentioning. Oops, let's undo that and let's do that. We'll just refreeze this guy under that with uh, keep the pivot where it is and zero the local values. Right, let's move that guy back up. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk to you about really quickly is a, a simple little thing. And this is actually really pretty cool. So inside of Maya, we've got these different selection types. You've got you know standard selection, lasso select, paint select. If I'm in my um, if I'm in my move tool, right, and I'm selecting faces or whatever, and I do a, a simple swipe across that object, it's doing a marquee select. It selects through to the backside. You can see that marquee marquee select doesn't have camera based selection turned on. If I jump into a drag select mode, which is sort of a paintbrush select mode, and I paint these edges here you can see that it didn't select through to the back side. Here's a really cool little hotkey inside of Maya. Let's get back to our standard marquee select. If I'm in my, you know, my sort of standard tool, we'll just hit reset on this guy, and I'm, you know, I want to select faces, and I'm in here and I'm grabbing faces, and I wanted to do a paint select, the marquee select, all I have to do is hold down the tab key, and when I hold down the tab key, you can see as I depress it and let it go, it's quickly enabling that marquee select tool, that, that drag select tool. So I'm painting through and just doing a brush-based transformation on my selection here. So this is really pretty pretty awesome. Another thing that's kind of hidden inside of my that's worth, worth mentioning is the tilde key for tweak. So if I've got these faces selected and I want to go select another face without having to actually touch the face and then click a second time to move, I can just hold my tweak tool down. And with the tweak tool held down, 
It allows me in one quick movement to grab a face and move it without having to select the face and then go into my move tool. So the tweak tool, again, is a tilde, tilde tool, and the tab key is my paint select tool, which allows me to jump in there and, and quickly do a, a paint brush based selection. So a couple cool things there. Another thing that's worth mentioning, a lot of these hotkeys inside of Maya, like my Q, my Q key to go into my, um, my select mode, if I hold that down and click with my left mouse button, I get a radial pop-up. So this allows me to quickly jump into a paint select mode or a lasso select mode. So someone um, asked about, well, yeah, the lasso select is great, but what if I want to use that with a hotkey? How do I get that lasso select tool into a hotkey? This was a question that came on Twitter. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, the first thing you need to do is figure out, like when I hit the shelf button for the lasso select, what's, what's being executed inside of Maya. So if we bring up the, uh, the script editor inside of Maya, and we clear this guy out and I click the lasso button, nothing happens. So then if you click on the echo all commands and you click on the lasso tool or these guys, you can see that no matter what I do, it's doing the same thing. It's just changing the context of the object that's selected. So that again, that's not really giving me a clue as to what, what is that lasso select command? How do I enter into that guy? So let's go ahead and clear this out and let's try something slightly different. Well, what happens when I click my, um, my Q key and then I click down and go to lasso. Well, you can see when I do that, well, there's, there's, there's what I'm looking for. It's called the lasso tool. That is the actual mel command to, uh, to enter into that lasso select. So what's, what do we get there? Let's go back to our standard move tool and click that button. Well, there you can see that it's put me back into that lasso select, um, you know, that lasso select command. So with that done, I can now simply go into my hotkey editor and add in a hotkey for Lasso tool. So let's go ahead and look at how we do that. So we'll go into our windows, um, the hotkey editor. Uh, I don't even know where that guy is. Let's, let's dig around here and find that hotkey editor. So the hotkey editor, great. So inside the hotkey editor, you know, there's a huge list of stuff here. I'm going to go to my select tools and see if lasso select is in there. And it's not. So what are we going to do? We're going to make a new one. So we're going to make our new, our, our new command, lasso select. We'll just call this lasso select uh, underscore DTO. It doesn't like to have the same name as the command. So we'll just go ahead and we'll say accept uh, lasso tool DTO2. All right, so we've got that, that tool that we just made there. And I want to put that to a hotkey. So I'm going to put it to uh, control Q. Control Q is actually assigned to quit. I would never want to use a hotkey to quit the application. So I'm going to override that and just say assign. It's going to say it's set to quit. I don't care. We'll close that guy off. So now if I hit Control Q, boom, just like that, I've, I've made a button that lets me jump into my lasso tool. So Q takes me to my select tool. Control Q takes me to that newly made hotkey for that lasso tool command. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that makes sense to you. What we went over was um, some of the move options that have been changed, specifically working with pivots. The fact that the tab key will take you into the drag select mode so you can paint your selection. The tilde key puts you into the tweak mode. And that, um, you know, that if you hold down the Q key and hold down your, uh, your left mouse button, you get a radio pop-up for different types of selection options. And we went through and queried the lasso tool and made our own custom hotkey for it. So thanks a lot for watching Maya Mondays. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Click the subscribe button if you liked it. And you know, there's a lot of uh, videos up there. So dig through the old catalog of stuff that I've